Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Small Engines Questions and Answers for Friday, July 15th, 2011. First of all, I just want to let you guys know I haven't been able to answer too many questions this week because my wife was pretty ill. We just spent the whole day in the hospital, so that was a pretty long wait in there. But I'm finally getting caught up here now. I get a lot of questions, so it's hard for me to answer each one of them, even at the best of times. So today's q and is mostly going to be about lawn tractors because I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to them. A question I get often in regards to lawn tractors is why is my mowing deck vibrating like crazy? Well, usually what will cause this are worn out blades or blades that are bent. For example, if you hit something and you bent them a bit, what that does is it throws the balance off, thus making the deck vibrate. Also, tractors with a single cylinder will tend to vibrate just a bit more than tractors with a V-twin. So when it comes to blades, make sure they're nice and new like this. If they're not brand new, make sure that at least they're not bent or worn off unevenly at the ends. If the ends on your blade are all curled up, they need to be replaced. They will cause vibrations in your deck. Also make sure that the belt is in good condition. Now another question I get is, why is my tractor surging up and down? What I mean by surging is that the engine will rev up and down constantly. It's never going to stay at an even RPM. Well, what usually causes this 9 out of 10 times is that the carburetor needs to be cleaned. Also make sure to put a new fuel filter. Here's the carburetor on this engine. It's a 14.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton single cylinder engine. And if that carburetor is not clean, it's going to surge up and down and it's very annoying. Now, people who own a single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine like this often ask me, what's this thing here underneath the carburetor with the two wires going to it? What this thing is, is a solenoid. The way it works is when you turn the key on, it opens a small valve to allow fuel to go into the carburetor and up to the engine. And when you turn the key off, the valve will shut and prevent more fuel from going in the engine when you're turning it off. The purpose for that is to prevent the engine from backfiring when you turn it off. On some of the older engines that did not have that solenoid on the bottom of the carburetor, they were more prone to backfiring if you had to throttle up a bit when you were turning it off. So with that solenoid, there's a lot less chance of your engine backfiring when you shut it off if the throttle's open. Another common question about the solenoid is, how do I remove it? Well, grab a cheap half inch wrench from your toolbox, Grind it down so it's thinner here on both sides. And it's going to fit perfectly between the carburetor bowl and the solenoid. And then just loosen it like you would a regular bolt. But before you take it off, make sure to disconnect the wire here from the plug. And then when you take the solenoid off, the carburetor bowl is going to come off. And then you can clean inside of it. Sometimes you can clean the carburetor without having to remove it completely from the motor. Sometimes all I do is I remove the solenoid, take the bowl out, clean the dirt and debris, put it back on, and it's fine. But if it still won't work after doing that, then I take the carburetor completely off and do a more thorough clean on it. My last question today in regards to these single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engines. People are asking me, why does my tractor burn oil all the time and puff out huge clouds of smoke? Well, the answer to that is that the valve guides inside the head, if it's an overhead valve engine, could be worn out as the oil is getting in and going into the engine. The other problem could be that the rings are finished on the piston or the cylinder could be scratched and therefore it's burning excessive amounts of oil and it's going to smoke a lot when you run your tractor. And also when you take off the air filter, if you see smoke and oil spewing out of here, that is also a symptom of worn out piston rings and probably a damaged cylinder. What's causing this is that too much air is getting into the crankcase causing too much pressure and thus it's coming out of here. This tractor here has that exact problem. I'm going to start it up and show you how much smoke is spewing out of there and how much oil is coming out of here as well. The last time I started it, a lot of oil got on the engine and dripped all over that cardboard. Now that's an insane amount of oil burning going on. I adjusted the valves to make sure that they were okay. And like I said earlier, there's a lot of oil spewing out of here. This hole here joins to the crankcase valve. I have checked it, it's okay. So probably if a new set of rings went in there, it would be okay. Could be that the rings are broken, could be that the cylinder scratched, or who knows. You don't really know until you have the engine apart. And by the way, if your engine has a cover like this and it says OHV on it, it's an overhead valve. That's what I mean when I talk about these engines and I say overhead valve. 
if your engine looks like this, it's flat at the front here. It's a flat head. It's not overhead valve. Look at all the smoke still coming out of the shop. It's crazy. Before you go through the trouble of taking your engine apart though, make sure that the oil has not been overfilled in the engine. Because if it's way overfilled, it could cause it to burn excessive oil like that. So that'll be it for today's small engines questions and answers. If you have experiences with your tractor burning oil, I would like to hear from you. Just post your comments underneath this video. Also post what you did to remedy the problem. I'm sure all the other YouTubers would like to know that. So beware when you buy used equipment. Thanks for watching. Have a safe weekend and we'll see you next Friday.